in the Musnad of Al Imam Ahmad, and it was classified as Hassan, sound, by Al Albani. The Prophet said, Fasting during the winter season is an easy gain, an easy profit. A couple of weeks ago, we spoke about the winter season and the virtue of the winter season and that it draws this virtue because of its short days and long nights and therefore acts of worship are facilitated during it. And we've addressed the issue of Qiyamul Layl pertaining to the long nights and today we're going to address the issue pertaining to the shortness of the day, which facilitates fasting. The Prophet ﷺ called it an easy gain, an easy profit earned. Fasting is one of the most virtuous deeds, most favorite deeds in the sight of Allah, and most rewarding. Because... It is a means of purification to the soul and cleansing to the heart. And it enables the slave, he or she, to attain the rank of taqwa. As Allah says, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O you who have believed, Siyam was mandated upon you as it was on those before you, perhaps that you attain taqwa. And when Allah Azza wa Jal listed the types of people who hasten to virtue, He listed amongst them those who fast, fasting men and fasting women, and promised them in return. An abundant reward. What are these rewards? What are these benefits one can obtain out of fasting? Number one is admittance into Jannah. In the book of Al Imam Ahmad, and it was classified as authentic by Al Albani, Abu Umama. Radiallahu anhu said, I went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam one day and said, O Messenger of Allah, guide me to a deed by virtue of which I will be admitted into Jannah. He said, Alayka bis siyami fa innahu la idla lah. He said, Stick to fasting, for there is nothing equal in reward to it. The narrator says, after that, you could hardly see smoke coming out of the house of Abu Humama. And when it came up, we would know that he has a guest. There is no cooking during the day, in other words. He would fast all the time, or most of the time. Fasting, intercedes for me and you with Allah Azza wa Jalla on the Day of Judgment. Reported by Imam Ahmad and classified as authentic by Al-Albani, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Quran and Siyam will intercede for the slave on the Day of Judgment. Siyam would say, Oh Allah, I deprived him from eating and attending to his desires. So allow me to intercede for him. And the Quran would say, Oh Allah, I de deprived him from sleeping during the nights. So allow me to intercede for him. And they will be permitted by Allah to intercede for the slave, he or she. In the book of Imam al-Bukhari, the Prophet said, Whoever fasts one day for the sake of Allah, 
Allah Azza wa Jal will keep his face far from the fire of hell, a journey of 70 years. So it is a shield protecting you and me from the fire of hell. Masruq. And this is how our righteous predecessors dealt with texts. And we always emphasize on this point. The issue is not knowing the text, but rather acting upon the text. Masruq, rahimahullah, was a known scholar and he was known for two things in particular. He was a very devout worshiper and fasted a lot. One day, his daughter came up to him whilst he was fasting and in his biography, they said he loved this daughter so much that he would hardly turn her down in any request she requested of him. So she walked up to him one day and she said, Father, please break your fast and eat. So he looked at her and he said, Oh daughter, what do you want out of this? Meaning, what are you, why are you asking me to stop fasting, to break my fast today? She said, I just want you to be easy with yourself. He said, dear daughter, I am only fasting, so it would be easy for myself on a day, the duration of which is 50,000 years. It will shield me and you from that heat. In the book of an Imam al-Bukhari, <clears throat> the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, every good deed is multiplied tenfold up to 700 multiples. Then he said sallallahu alayhi wasallam, يَقُولُ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ So now it's a Qudusi narration. Allah the Almighty, the Exalted says, all the deeds of the son of Adam are for him except fasting. It is for me and I shall be the one rewarding him for it. He gives up his food and drink and desire for my sake. The scholars commented on this saying, that Allah Azza wa Jal concealed the type of reward He is preparing for those who fast. And this signifies the great magnitude of the reward. It's unlimited, we don't know. It is enough to know that it is coming from the most generous, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's the fourth thing. The reward is something that you cannot perceive. The amount of which or size of which is not perceivable by mankind. We ask Allah to enable us. Allahumma ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf al-Thaqafi was out on a journey one day. And uh, at the time of lunch, he instructed his soldiers to uh, prepare the place for food and get the food. And it was said in the books of biography that he did not like to be eating alone. So he saw a man, a shepherd, very thin, very weak looking, passing by. So he called him. He said, come and eat with me. He said, no, thank you. He said, no, no, no. Sit down and eat with me. He said, I was called by someone who's more honorable than you. And I responded. He said, who's more honorable than me? He said, Allah called me to fast and I responded. He said, you fast in such a place during such a hot day. 
Break your fast and fast tomorrow. Eat with me today. And tomorrow you can fast. He said, O leader of the believers, can you guarantee me to live until tomorrow? He said, I have no power over this. He said, then how can you ask me to refrain from doing something today and postpone it until tomorrow, which you have no control over? And he left him and went. There are days that are recommended to be fasted as optional days. The best of which, as stated by the Prophet Sallallahu and this is reported by a Muslim, he said the best fasting is that of Dawood alayhi salam. He would fast today and break his fast the next day. The second after that, is to fast Mondays and Thursdays. And this is reported by Ahmed, classified as authentic by Al-Albani. The Prophet ﷺ said, these are presented to our Lord on Mondays and Thursdays. And I like that my deeds are presented whilst I am fasting. Now the least one can do is the third option, which is fasting three days in the month. Abu Huraira said, Awsani Khalili, my intimate friend, alayhi salatu wasalam, meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, to, to do three things. To pray the witr before I go to bed, and not to abandon praying two rak'ahs of duha, and to fast three days of every month. Now, the scholar said that these three days, the best is to fast the 13th, 14th, and 15th of the lunar month. But if one cannot fast during these days, then he can fast any three days uh, of the month. Abdullah ibn Umar, and this is reported by uh, Nafi', his servant said that Abdullah ibn Umar went out the boundaries of al Medina, And for those of you who visited al Medina, it's surrounded by mountains from most of its uh, boundaries. So he went that far. And he sat down to eat with his companions. And again, a shepherd passed. He said, come on over and join us for food. He said, no, thank you. I am fasting. He said, you're fasting today is extremely hot. And you're going around between mountains. He said, I am fasting this hot day in preparation for a hotter day. I am taking advantage of my days, meaning whatever is left in my life. This left Abdullah ibn Umar astonished. Brothers, sisters, let us take advantage of this season. Very short days, nice weather, you don't feel hungry, you don't feel thirsty, and the day passes as soon as it started, it ended. Or as soon as it starts, it ends. You don't feel it. Let's work hard. And it's really not hard work. But let's work on what's left of our lives. Perhaps that day of fasting will coincide the day we die. And guess what? Whoever dies whilst fasting, will have Jannah for him, as the Prophet ﷺ said. And this is reported by Imam Ahmed, classified as authentic by Albani. He said, whoever dies on a day, he is fasting, he will be admitted into Jannah. An easy pass into Jannah is to fast during an easy season. 
facilitated for this act of worship. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to fast and to obey Him and perform all types of virtuous deeds that will draw us closer to Him. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ghfir lil muslimina wal muslimat wal mu'minina.